Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvin Drill and in this video I'm having a problem. So as you can see here that's a black screen because the problem I'm having with is with this Dell Y720 thin client. And as you can see there this small desktop computer is turned on. But you see the, the blinking there. It's blinking all the time. It never stops. So I don't know what was going on. I thought at the beginning that the motherboard was having an issue. So I left it for a few seconds for you to see, uh, but it's not doing anything. I mean, it's not changing. So this one is connected to the, to the monitor, like I showed you a few seconds ago, and the monitor is showing nothing, okay? So the blinking continues, like I mentioned, it's not going to change. So it's, it's not doing anything. It's like dead, let's say. <laughs> You just know it's on because it's blinking and the, the power button is blue. So I'm going to shut it down because we cannot do anything from the outside. We have to remove the cover and see what's going on. So for that, allow me just a few seconds to adjust my camera so you can see it better. And, and now I'm going to remove everything. So I'm disconnecting the monitor and disconnecting the power supply. And you can see the Wi-Fi antennas there. And I'm going to disconnect also the USB for the keyboard. And now um, I'm just going to, well, allow me please a few more seconds, I, 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 I can adjust it better. Now I'm going to show you around. So like I mentioned, this is the Dell Wise, you can see the logo there, well the Wise letters, the power button, you can see the audio jack, two USBs in the front. In the back we can see an old printer port there, it also has an old P PS2 uh, jack for the for the keyboard you can see the serial you can see the projector port which is kind of new for this model the wi-fi antennas and the regular network port port and of course the power supply connector so this one is very handy so this one if i i pull it up you're going to see all the information the serial number the model the mac addresses this um, the service tag all the information that it that you need for the warranty so that's very handy because in many models that comes in a label and with time it wears off so now i'm showing you my loyal phillips, uh, phillips screwdriver and i'm going to remove the four screws that this model has i'm showing you there and now i'm going to proceed to remove it and while i'm doing that this is a really great moment to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like this video for the youtube algorithm so now after a few seconds because as you can see the videos sped up i'm going to I have removed everything and I'm going to pull it towards me. In this case, it's going to be you, but I'm doing the video, so I'm going to pull it towards me. So that way you can remove it really easy. And as you can see here, it's very compact, it's very small. It's, uh, this kind of thing, like, you can install Windows, but most, uh, most of the time uh, Linux is installed. So you can show a presentation for all the, for 24 seven, for example. So I'll show you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or any watches and I'm, and I'm discharging the static electricity in my body by touching the heatsink or the metallic parts of the case. That way we are not going to damage the circuitry. So as you can see here, uh, the heatsink is pretty big because like I mentioned, these, these kind of thin clients are on 24 seven. So it's going to generate a lot of heat. So that heat has to be dissipated. That's why this super huge is taking like 60% of the space in the motherboard. <laughs> All right. So like, uh, um, so what, what I was checking is I'm going to uh, rotate it a little and you can see there the RAM sockets. I changed the RAM. I thought uh, at the beginning, I thought the problem was the RAM. So I replaced it. I put in another socket because it has two for the RAM. Then I replaced the CMOS battery there, but that was not the problem. So I thought obviously that it was the motherboard itself, but the thing is it was turning on. So it was blinking. So that was something weird until I found this little thing here. I never found it in another model so far or maybe there was but i never really noticed or i never really had a problem so you cannot see it that well so that's why i took a picture you can see it there it says protection and it has three pins so and um, two of the top pins uh are being uh, you can see a jumper there that uh, black plastic thing and that's that's the problem the jumper has to be in the one in the middle and the lower 
pins. So that's the problem we are having and we are going to try to fix that by removing it and putting, putting it where it needs to be. So using my um, thumbnail, I'm going just to remove it. Try not to touch the motherboard because there is not really much to do with it. So very slowly, I'm trying to remove the jumper. Just like that, it came out. You can see here, it's very small. I have shown jumpers in many of my other videos when resetting BIOS password. By the way, you, if you want to see that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the playlist. So now here, I'm trying to explain <laughs> how this is working. So it's connected, the jumper is connected to these two and it has to be connected to these two. So we are going to do just that. We are going to put back the jumper in the two pins to the left and see if that is going to fix the problem. So now, once you have done that, you don't have to use much strength. So it's really easy. I'm just trying to show you there that is in the two pins to the left before it was in the two pins to the right. Well, kind of the pin in the middle works in both sides. <laughs> But anyway, now I'm going. I'm not going to put back the cover because we have to test it. I'm connecting the the monitor, the power supply, and well, the charger, and and I'm going to turn it on. Of course, the keyboard as well. I'm going to turn it on, and you can see there that it's not blinking anymore. Well, it blinked once, but it's solid orange now, and you can see the reflection of the monitor. And it was pretty fast. This one doesn't have anything installed on it, so it's blank. Does it have Windows or Linux? It's blank. So it's going to show us this screen that says we are trying to boot, but we cannot do it because we don't find anything. So I just rebooted so you can see the, the logo there and it's going to um, bring us back to the same screen. So again, it doesn't have anything installed, but it's working now. So we we can see that it's showing something on the on the screen. I don't know why, why I thought it was a good idea to show it to you so close, but I just want I just want to show you that now it's working. It's turned on. It's not blinking anymore. So our final step is going to be to put back the cover. So I'm going to shut it down, pressing the power button for a few seconds, and now uh, I take the cover. I don't need to disconnect uh, everything like I did at, at the beginning because we're putting it back. So you have to make this match. These two ledges go below that metallic uh, clip or metallic part or protector or something. So once you do that, you may you make sure that it's really tight. You're going, we're going to put back the screws. But as you can see there, one fell to the ground. So I, while I was doing the video, I, I couldn't really find it with just my eyes. So you're going to see me only putting back three screws and the last one i'm going to look later after the video is recorded so that's the one is missing it, it fell to the ground so let's just not worry about it so that's all i wanted to show you in this short video guys how to uh, troubleshoot this problem it was very tricky because you had to move a jumper this time i normally all the videos so far i have done you use the you remove the jumper to reset the power i mean the the bios password on the motherboard but this was a different that's why i wanted to show it to you so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video